I'd just like to say good evening to everybody, and we've just had a, a wonderful service here tonight, and I'm with my grandson, Bryce Asher, and uh, we'd just like to praise the Lord tonight for WOJC. We've been coming, coming down here now for many years, and uh, we'd just like to say uh, we'd like for everybody to keep supporting the ministry here and lift up Sister Margaret and all the staff here in prayer each night. And uh, we just like for, uh, if you're, if there any way that you can, to send in uh, donations or contributions to help the ministry here. I'm sure it would be um, blessed, and you'd be blessed by doing that. And with just a lot of church groups and a lot of uh, ministers, a lot of singing groups come gather here each and every night, and they they pray. We have phone operators upstairs each and every uh, night, and we're just uh, uh, just it's just a wonderful. Uh, event and a wonderful uh, place to come and sing and feel the spirit of the Lord that that's with us here in this chapel. So uh, we just encourage you to keep up the good work of prayer and support the ministry here. And we love you and God bless you. Welcome to the service tonight from our WLJC studios in Beattyville, Kentucky. We trust that uh, you're out from under the storm now and everything's calm and you're going to be able to enjoy the service here tonight. Dottie has phone operators up there. They're ready to pray with you and for you. And, and so the phone number is the same. Well, we have some wonderful news to start with. While we were praying here, we always pray with the guests as they come in because everyone's had a hard day and it's been, you know, busy. And then by the time everybody rushes in, well, then we have to kind of stop and, and, uh, and always pray and get our mind focused on the Lord and on the service and on you out there because you're the one that uh, this service is for. So as we was praying a while ago here in the studio, there were some of the phone operators upstairs. And so uh, Bobby from Perry County had called during that time and uh, accepted the Lord as his personal Savior. So we have a salvation report already tonight. And that's, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. We, we appreciate the goodness of God. You know, had it, if it was not for his mercy, we would all be consumed every day. We would just be gone. But God, in His mercy, He is with us. And we don't understand a lot of things that happen in life. But someday, if, if He knows that we need to know, he'll let it, He will tell us. But other, until then, well, we'll just uh, uh, make the most of it and go on. We have a special uh, prayer request here tonight for, uh, from Debbie for Tanner Hall. Tanner was here to visit us not long ago. And... Said he's had a rough day today. I don't know. And uh, uh, Don and Bill both says hi to you, Tanner. They're they're camera shy, but uh, they they were both saying hi to you. So uh, we appreciate this young boy. He uh, he watches all the time, and he's got such a good memory. He can always tell you uh, what kind of clothes you had on, and and what uh, songs were sung that night, and everything. So Tanner's one of our faithful viewers and <clears throat> as a young man lives over at Paris. <clears throat> so um, we appreciate him calling. Well, <clears throat> we uh, want to read some scripture before we get into the singing and we uh, we know the singers has all been really busy today with funerals and sicknesses <clears throat> and so forth. And But you know, as we come into this service, we come with one one purpose, and that is to try to share what we know about Jesus to you. 
because you know not everyone was raised uh, or didn't grow up in church and de does not know sometimes many times we have people call and they don't even know how to pray to be saved and so we are blessed tonight and so we want to share what we know about the Lord and you know the more we get to know him the more we realize how little we know because he is so wonderful but tonight in in view of all of the troubles and problems and things that folk are going through, uh, we hear it every day. We had uh, one of her little great-granddaughter's friends, only 11 years old, only child. He lost his mom uh, this past week. And, uh, you know, just things like this that just really can tear your heart. And uh, there's so many things happening to people. I don't think I've ever seen a time when there was more need of prayer and people acting like Christians and actually praying for each other, carrying a burden, uh, than right now because we've never been in this kind of trial before. Our nation has never been in the shape it's in. But, you know, God hasn't changed. He's got has not gotten worried nor upset. God is still God. We're the ones that do all that stuff. But I, I want to read some scripture that will once again renew in our mind just uh, how much help that we have. Romans 8th chapter, it talks about the suffering that we go through and uh, uh, how, how much that uh, God's everlasting love and how, you know, everyone's going through a trial. Everything, it seems like the enemy is just trying to wash everyone uh, up, but... But, you know, as you listen to this scripture tonight, I believe it will encourage you as a, as a Christian and that it will give you faith to hang on a little longer. Romans 8th chapter, starting with the 31st uh, verse. Now, the other verses in this chapter, it, they're all so good. I, I wish I could read them all, but it's a long chapter and we can't. But, but you know, it talks about how the whole chapter... Uh, well, the first verse, it says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. And it talks about how that the, that the Holy Spirit prays for us and God is for us. And, and anyway, this, this, uh, uh, these verses that I've chosen, uh, there are just a few of them, but they are so good. Romans 8, 8 31. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Now, in the most fierce battle that you're in, if you know that God is for you and with you, then who else is to be against you? <clears throat> he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall uh, he not then with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay any uh, thing to the charge of God's elect? Is it God that justifieth? Who is he that condemneth? Is it Christ that died? Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Jesus is making intercession for us. If you feel like you have no one praying for you, you're wrong because Jesus is praying for you. We know that. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for this slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. What does it mean to be more than a conqueror? If you conquer something, you have the victory. But it says we're more than a conqueror through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, or any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You know, the enemy will come at you 
uh, he does uh, has no respect to persons either. He just wants to destroy everyone he can because he has such a hate toward God because he was in heaven and he uh, he got uh, uh, kicked out because of sin because he became proud and, and wanted to take over. But but here. Uh, all these things that can happen to you. So he's after everyone. And you know, whether you're saved or whether you're uh, unsaved, the enemy wants to destroy you and take you to hell where he is uh, going to be forever and ever. And so I just want to encourage any of you that uh, to watch your choices, watch what, what you think about, Watch where you go and make sure that the, you don't give a foothold for the devil to get in and steal your, uh, steal your victory and steal your soul because your soul is the only thing that is really important. And we, we must, we must remember the things about God and how he loves us and how he wants us to live in victory. And he, we can. That is the good thing about it, regardless of what has happened in your life. And I know a lot of you are suffering because, uh, you know, when people are living for the devil, they're heartless, they're ruthless, they do not care what they, how they hurt you. And if you're really a sensitive person and a good person, you know, they just trample all over you. But remember Romans 8, 28, for all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. God wants you to be saved and live a victorious life and be in heaven with him. And so tonight, as we go into this service, I want you to listen to the songs these folk sing for the Lord. And they're not promoting themselves, but they're, they want to lift up that name that, and he will draw people to himself. But regardless of how much your heart is hurting tonight, the Lord wants to minister to you, but you've got to let him. You know, he's always waiting for us to allow him to come and do for us what we need to have done. So let's, let's pray and believe for real victory in the service tonight. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because you've promised us victory. You've promised us that there's not anything, not a thing that we could think about that can separate us from your love for us. And when we have your love and we feel your love and we are walking in that love, then we're not to be fearful. We're not to be in doubt or not to uh, think that we're not going to make it. So Lord, tonight for those that are hurting, those that have been trampled on and those that have uh, just their hearts are aching. Many are suffering from the loss of loved ones. And we know that's an ache that only you can heal. So Lord, we just give you the service. We ask you to anoint and bless the singers and give them the songs and the words to sing and to say that would help. And the phone operators, they need wisdom in talking to these people. Lord, we thank you that we have an opportunity to work for you because we all know that life is uncertain. So, Lord, we want you to have victory out of this service tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, it looks like I do not have a cue card, but I think I remember these people <laughs> from way back. Some, uh, so, I'm, the name of the church is Manchester a Gospel Mission. And uh, so uh, Flo, she's always been the one, um, the spokesperson for for the group, and I guess she still is. And and uh, oh yeah, we'll give you a phone number here. Thank you. Okay, the phone number to get in touch with them is six zero six five nine eight seventy one fifty five. Is that right? Seventy one fifty five. All right, Manchester Gospel Mission. Let's go over to them right now. Well, we're glad to be back again. It's been a while since we've been here, but we're glad to be here and hope that uh, the singing will be a blessing to each and every one because that's what we're here for, to bless you and to help anyone. We hope that the words will touch 
of your hearts. So our first song we're going to do is uh, called I Am Blessed. Um, we want to send this song out to a lot of our nursing home uh, ladies that we enjoy visiting with. And uh, Sister Margaret, they look forward to this because, you know, this is their church. Of course, there's a lot of good people goes down there and has church with them. But tonight we want to send this down to June Foreman and Jean McDaniel, Christine Robinson, Gracie Campbell, and my Aunt Bernice Keith. And there's some more friends of ours that are not in the nursing home. Let, you know, I mean, sometimes my words don't come out right. But there's an old fellow that will really give me a hard time if I don't dedicate the whole program out to him. And that's Blue John Desar. And he always finds me and to tell me whether I did or didn't. And then I have some, fa uh, my son, uh, my son's got his extended family, uh, Miss Wilma Jean Johnson in, in Lexington, and Wilma Terry here, I think she's in Jackson Breath. That's two sweet ladies that, that I've come to know. That's my daughter-in-law's grandparents, and I appreciate them. And uh, then I've got uh, my little cousin that always listens, Miss Hallie Hooker, and my Aunt Dorothy Hooker. And there was a couple that just before we left, and we want to send them a song out. Denny and Alice Brown. But like, like Sister Margaret said, we're not here to promote ourselves. We're here to promote God and His goodness. And uh, you pray for us. We, we want to be a blessing to, to, to you all, to anybody we can. And our desire is solely to please God and to do His will. Through the sun, shining rain, even sorrow and pain, Jesus still is comfort and my guide. Oh, His love comforts me, and His grace has set me free, and someday I shall stand by His side. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed every day. wake up every morning we're blessed you know that <clears throat> uh, I like to also send all the the program out to the uh, dispatchers over at uh, London DC Walmart DC um, I'm not going to call their names because I'll leave somebody out and uh, but uh, they know who they are so uh, we're gonna uh, sing that send the whole program out to them <clears throat> there is peace and contentment in my father's house today. Lots of Sadly cry. 
needs help he needs help out there and that's us so we got a <clears throat> another one here with uh, I believe that uh, the Terry brother Terry Markham called another heel I'm glad to be here tonight and I want to thank God for what he's done for me I want to thank him for his love and his mercy but you know most of all just a little over 18 years ago, I want to thank him for saving my soul. Hallelujah. Just pray for me. Hope this is a blessing to you. Lord, it's just another hill that I'm climbing. Lord, it's just another tear to wipe
I'd like to send this program out to my granddaughter, uh, Devin Walker, today's her birthday, and her two little girls, uh, Sarah and Kara, and uh, they're watching, so, and uh, I'd like to uh, also send it out to uh, my my son, it's usually with me here, um, maybe you all remember him, Doug, um, his wife has been, uh, Priscilla has been diagnosed with stage four cancer, and I would like everybody out there to pray for her, but she needs prayer, and uh, we would appreciate anything that you can do. dedications here before we get started. So good to be here this evening. Amen. So good to be here with our church family. You know, a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of things changes, but Sister Margaret, one thing that never changes is God. He's always the same. No matter what your situation is, Amen. what kind of trouble you're in, what kind of physical or spiritual sickness you have, if you reach out to Him, He'll take care of you. Uh, got a few people I want to mention here real quick. Got in trouble last time. Forgot some of them, so probably will this time too, but we'll do our best the help of the Lord. Uh, Sister Thelma Allen, real sick, needs a touch. Sister Stella Jackson and Brother Bill Sizemore out on Urban Creek. Uh, old man of God needs a touch. Uh, she's already mentioned Blue John, his arm, my buddy. So uh, our church family at MGM, <clears throat> my wife Roselle and the kids and grandkids at home. Uh, my mom, my sisters, their children in London. God bless you. And got two aunts left. Aunt Pauline Baker and Aunt June Wilson. God bless you. God's unchanging hand. Time is filled with swift transition. No other unmoved can stand. Oh, build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. God's unchanging hand. God's unchanging hand. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Oh, build your hopes on things eternal. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Trust in Him who will not leave. God, you 
We'll turn it over to her. Okay, I'm going to sing one more valley. The last verse says it all. It says, don't let Satan see your fears. Learn to smile through your tears. Hold your head up high and give the world a smile. You must be faithful all the way. It's going to be worth it all someday, for it's all going to be over after a while. All of us have problems, and we could just stick our head in the sand, but we've got to hold to God's unchanging hand, and I'm so thankful for that. Now when I'm tossed on life's sea And the waves cover me And the dark clouds won't let the sun shine through Then a voice seems to say Child, there'll be a brighter day One more valley, one more hill. Oh, maybe one more trial, one more tear. One more curve in life's road. Maybe one more mile to go. You can lay down your heavy load when you get home. Don't let Satan see your feet. Learn to smile through your teeth. Hold your head up high. Give the world a smile. You must be faithful all the way. It'll be worth it all someday. For it's all going to be over after a while. One more valley, one more year. One more trial, one more tear, one more curve in life's road, maybe one more mile to go. You can lay down your heavy load when you get home. You can lay down your heavy load when you get home. Hallelujah. I'd also like to um, dedicate this program to my neighbor, Donnie Hubbard. She lost her daughter about a week ago. And non, unknown to the girl, to Pat, you know, she, she went that Sunday and gave her heart to the Lord. She went to church. And... She was killed the next day in an auto accident. So you never know when you're going to you're going to be taken out of this world, and you need to be prepared to to uh, to leave. And you're going to because when once you leave, you're going to stand before a judge. And this song here, uh, I've requested to sing it called "Mercy Walked In." I stood in the courtroom, the judge turned my way, it looks like you're guilty, now what do you say? I spoke up, your honor, I have no Forgive us when mercy 
Assistant send this out to my mom and my dad, my wife, a friend of mine, uh, Gwen Bolden Teasley, and just all the people back there at home. John tells of a city that he saw coming down where no sorrow. Uh, we're going to let them have a minute to catch their breath and get something to drink. You've been listening to the Manchester Gospel Mission uh, Singers, and uh, the phone number, if you want to get in touch with them, is 606-598-7155. And uh, it's uh, a non-denominational uh, church that works with everyone, and that's the Man uh, Manchester Gospel Mission. 
And so they'll get a drink of water and they'll be, be right back. And, uh, you know, I might uh, mention that uh, about our little newsletter, this has been a concern of ours lately, and that is that some of our newsletters are coming back to us, and that's because that we do not have the proper address. You know, when 911 changed, uh, went through the country and changed everybody's address, if your number changed just one or two numbers, or just the least bit, well then uh, they cannot recognize that at the post office and they'll say, you know, uh, no such address or, or whatever. And then the, then the newsletter comes back to us. So uh, if you'd like to continue to receive our little monthly newsletter, uh, we try to tell you information and we give you a list of our singers that uh, is going, that is scheduled to be here every night of the month. Now sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Sometimes they, uh, for whatever reason, different reasons they do not show, but uh, uh, anyway, you're welcome to uh, uh, have the newsletter if you would like for it to to come your way. And you know, um, I was uh, thinking and studying today about um, how that uh, the different holidays, or the different days that comes up throughout the years and how that we, <coughs> we all work so hard and to uh, uh, observe these days. And this month, of course, it will be Memorial Day. And you know, uh, I also read where there's more people killed on the highway during Memorial Day than any other time. And that really makes, uh, uh, makes it sad because many times they are going home, they're going back to where they came from to uh, decorate the grave as is our custom here in this part of the world. It might not be where you are, but... <laughs> That's, but a lot of folk lose their life during this time, and it is just. Uh, I was thinking about uh, uh, really about memorials and how how do you remember people? You know, it's good if that's what you want to do is to go uh, decorate the grave, um, or to do something in memory of uh, your loved one. Now I know uh, yesterday I believe was the anniversary of of that uh, plane that went down in, in Lexington uh, about six years ago, I think it was. And a lot of folk lost their lives. And, you know, they've, uh, they've made a memorial, a statue there. But, but, you know, how do we as individuals remember our loved ones? And um, I, it, just, it was just something on my heart that... I want us to, uh, whatever we do, do it to where it will honor the Lord. And so uh, it's, it's fine if we, whatever, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, I know when we was growing up, there, we always had what they called Memorial Day meeting. And that's where everybody went to church and to the cemetery where all your generation was buried. And they'd have, uh, uh, they'd have, we called dinner on the ground and and preaching and singing and uh, we had usually had a lot of company little ants and bugs and so forth would get, get on your food and you and you you hate you you didn't think you were selfish or stingy but you sure hated for them to get in your good food but but that's kind of um how they're i don't know if they do much of that anymore or not but there's a lot of ways to remember our loved ones and but uh, whatever we do we want to remember uh, remember the one that did so much for us our loved ones did a lot they loved us and then they their time was up they uh, they had suffered long enough the Lord called them home but then let's remember the one that gave his life for us that we could have life and that we could be in heaven when when this life is over, and as one of the ladies mentioned, life is so uncertain. You, we do not know what a day is going to bring forth, and we must be ready. Must be ready. And so, if uh, you need prayer tonight, uh, uh, Dottie has a good group up there to uh, pray with you, and and they will do that. 
Well, if the group have, uh, I believe they've come back in and they've had a drink of water and they were able to able to sing uh, more uh, for you, and so that's uh, that's good. So they see everyone have has their burdens and their their things to uh, um, deal with, and and this group is no different from anyone else. There's there's a uh, uh, Things they're dealing with as individuals, and but I'm just so glad each night we can, without any reservations, we can assure you that God has not changed, and He will always be right there to uh, answer our prayers when we when we call, and that should give us the assurance that we need to stay in victory day by day. All right, let's welcome back now the Manchester Gospel Mission Singers from Manchester, Kentucky. Well, we're a little break and I'd have to serve. So uh, I'd like to send the uh, rest of the program out to my family. They'll be mad at me if I don't mention them. My husband, Larry, and, and uh, Linda, and Tim, and Terry, and Lisa, and Wes, and uh Jerry and Jared and uh, Ariel and Amber and Sean. Uh, just want to thank uh, thank them for for ha for being a good family. Uh, I like to introduce the the singers, if I may, <clears throat> uh, starting with the piano player. Uh, <laughs> This is Teresa, Teresa Bowles, and I think she's a very good piano player. She, she, she wants to doubt herself, but she does real good, I think. And standing here on my right is uh, Terry Markham. He's, uh, he does a good job of singing, and he, he, he's a good witness for the Lord. And Sister, uh, she's she's another flow, but they have to they have to call her Geneva in order to distinguish us both apart, you know. So we call her Geneva, Geneva Thompson, and of course I'm Flo Rice. And next to me is Phyllis Markham, and she's she don't like to sing a song by herself; she likes to help. So <laughs> yeah, she's our prayer warrior. And uh, so we, we we just love her so much. And next to her is uh, Donald uh, Jones, but better known as Cush. Everybody calls him Cush. So he's a he he's going to sing a song now uh, called "Too Much to Gain to Lose." A couple more people I forgot. I hate to talk. I'd rather be a singing, but I hate to forget people too. Uh, Bill and Linda Wagers. Promised Linda I'd mention her name. And the boys at the garage I work with her every day. This is a song that I uh, hadn't heard in a long time. My dad used to sing it when I was a little boy. And it's such a true story, Sister Margaret. All the things we have went through and all the things that's happened to us, we've got too much to gain to lose. It's too easy to quit and let the devil knock us out. But... If you're out there this evening and you feel the Lord tugging at your heart, that's the perfect opportunity for you to invite Him in. Amen. He's more than welcome. Amen. More than willing to come in and help you in anything you're in. Pray for me on this song, Too Much to Gain to Lose. Too many miles behind me.
I've got more to go to heaven for. I was thinking of the funeral we was at today. Now that family's got more to go to heaven for today, Don Ray. Pray for me. I've been on my way to heaven for a long, long time. Many things have happened that's clouded up my mind. But I'm more determined to walk the narrow way I've got more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday There's a golden street to walk upon A bell line for to ring Brand new angel in the choir I want to hear her sing There'll be a lot of friends away when I walk through the gate, I've got more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday. I've been through the lonesome valley, I've climbed the highest hill. I've known the joy of living in the center of God's will. I've watched the angels come and take my loved one home to stay. I've got more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday. There's a golden street to walk upon, a bell I'm going to ring. Brand new angel in the choir, I want to hear her sing. There'll be a lot of friends awaiting when I walk through the gate. I've got more to go to heaven for. Golden street, walk upon a bell I'm gonna ring. Brand new angel in the choir, I wanna hear her sing. There'll be a lot of friends awaiting when I walk through the gate. I've got more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday. I've got And a player and have her to do one for us and I love it when she sings this song she does such a wonderful job on yes, it. Amen. joy on the other side of Jordan yeah I'd like to uh, I hope I can sing it I'd like to send this song out to some families that just recently going through uh, losing a loved one and if they're ready to go home to be with God this is going to be joy on the other side of Hubert Hooker, of family, some of my family, I pray for. Send this song out to them tonight, and Sister Norma Hacker family just passed away, and then Brother Perry Fouts family from Indiana just lost a grandson in a tragic way. 22-year-old was drowned. He was on a missions trip. But, you know, we don't know her time, but God does. But that family needs our prayers. And today, as Sister Geneva said, we're... Um, uh, Peanut Phillips is what her they nickname was Peanut, but her name was Edith. But she's a aunt to Tess and Pam, and that's why Pam is not with us tonight. And I kind of feel like a fish out of water. I've played the piano all my life, but I've got used to her. But we want to send this song out to all them and to Pam and and to her family, to my family. But most of all, we want God to be pleased with us tonight. If I put my hand behind my ear and listen, I can hear the sound of celebration from afar. Music so exciting for all the loved ones. Oh 
to do a song called I'm Changing Houses. You know, <clears throat> I've always wanted a new house. And one of these days, I'm going to get one. I am, and it's going the streets are going to be made of gold. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the time when I'm going to be in my, my brand new home. <clears throat> While here on this earth, we move all around from city to city, up hills and down, over rough roads and highways, and mountains so high. But soon I'll be leaving for my home in the sky. I'm changing houses. I'm moving from here. I've got a new one that's free from all
What a day. You know, like Cush said there a while ago, if you're out there and you don't know the Lord as your Savior, my prayer is before this service is over that you'll ask him to come into your life and save you. What a day that'll be. There is coming a day where no heartaches will come. No more clouds in the sky. No more tears to dim the eye. All in peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, a glorious day. When I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, when he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, a glorious day that will be.
all who came Till one day the Lord passed by him And he called him by his name Come and follow me He whispered, do not stop to question also like to uh, send this out to my uh, uh, my mother-in-law and uh, father-in-law JT and Glenna Rice they're in Junction City and all the Rices they're in Junction City and Danville we'd like to send a program out to them she's been having some problems with the nosebleed she can't have a problem getting it stopped once it starts so I would like to remember her in prayer tonight so um, we like to, uh, we never like to close out the program without thanking the Lord for all that he's done, for his blessings that he's had upon us. And we like to do this next song, uh, Amazing Grace. And we hope that this program, it's for everybody that's not saved, especially someone that's not saved. We want you to, uh, we hope that it's been a blessing to you and that it touched your heart, God knocking at your heart, and that you'll call in and ask for help. If you don't know how to pray, there's prayer warriors here that knows how to pray with you. Lord has
Uh, Manchester Gospel Mission Singers for being here tonight. And if you'd like to get in touch with these folk and find out more about their church, is 606-598-7155. And that will uh, be putting you in touch with uh, Flo Rice. And uh, she'll, she will give you that information. We appreciate these folk for coming tonight on a rainy, stormy night. And uh, we're glad they made it all right, though. <laughs> all right, we have some wonderful news to share. Uh, from Wayne County, there was an 82-year-old lady, Flawney, has called, and uh, she has said she prayed till she got through. Now, that's some... Uh, uh, now, you know, some people might not understand that terminology, but we do here, don't we? That means that she really prayed till the burden lifted, and she knew her sins was forgiven. 82 years of age. Now, that is wonderful. And Sharon from uh, Clay County has uh, called and accepted the Lord tonight as her personal Savior. And this one is from uh, Knox County uh, and said uh, she's uh, kind of feeling sick, but she is not sin sick now because she prayed and asked Jesus to forgive her of her sins. And so she... Uh, and then here's a lady from Jackson County that has also accepted the Lord tonight. And that is wonderful. And she needs a healing in her body also. And then, of course, we had the one to start with tonight. So, uh, so that, <coughs> that makes uh, five, I believe. And uh, that is, that's wonderful. When Jesus said that one soul is worth more than the whole world, and so, you know, uh, our, our time has, uh, we've done what we could for the, to lift up the name of the Lord and, and the Holy Spirit has blessed. And so we appreciate that. We have some prayer requests now. Here's a grandmother who's called in for Big Zeb. He's 14 months old and he needs a healing in his lungs. A daughter has called for a family from down in Harlan County. Uh, Richard Caldwell family said Richard's funeral was today and the family needs prayer. A little four-year-old girl from Clay County called, uh, named Lillian uh, is in need of prayer. Uh, Diana has called for a daughter, Crystal, that has cancer and that's from Moorhead. And here's a man that has called for himself and his ex-wife and needs some help. All right, from Fleming County, Edith uh, has a sister that has cancer and a grandson that is sick. Betty from Rock Castle County is in the hospital. Uh, from Moorhead, Jason is, um, uh, has cancer, it says. Teddy from Floyd County, stroke, heart problems, and has uh, had one leg amputated because of diabetes. Do you have some church announcements or anything? You, well, uh, I just felt like you might, and I will even even share a new, a different mic with you there. Uh, so from here's one from Anna. Uh, she's she wants prayer for herself and her whole family to for some of them sick and some of them just unsaved. And so let's stop and see what Teresa has to share with us. Uh, we are, we're from Manchester Gospel Mission. Our church service is on Sunday at 11 o'clock. We also have a Sunday school going on during the same time. And I can't talk about the church without saying we have a wonderful Sunday school program for our kids. And then we have service on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. And um, we invite anyone to come out. Um, you'll be blessed. Um, Tess Lips is our pastor. And um, because of my... Worrying about playing the piano, we fa I failed. We want to send the whole program out to Tess and Barb. We appreciate them. They're good leaders, Sister Margaret, mm -hmm. and we appreciate them. We, we miss Pam tonight very much, but we'd love to invite anybody to come out to Manchester Gospel Mission. We'll treat you right, and uh, I don't believe no one has ever left there that's not been. But most of all, our goal is to serve God, to lift up the name of Jesus. You know, Sister Margaret, I'm at a time, and I didn't always have this, but... I have a passion for serving God. Yes, That's yes. the most important thing in my lives. I love my family, and I'd rather, I'd rather be with them, but 
When it comes to church time and serving God, that has to be my priority. I thank God for good parents that raised me in that manner. Uh, Don, they did. You knew my family. And, and they taught me that, that church, you know, serving God is a priority. It's not a part-time thing. No. So if you want to receive something from God, you, you be faithful to Him. The Bible says if we're faithful to Him, He'll be faithful to us. Yeah. So we invite you to come. We'd love to have you. And we just treat you so good that you'll have to come back. Okay, and what is the phone number there? If uh, the church phone number is 606-598-0400. And uh, call there. And if there's not one, no one there, they ought, we have an answer machine. They'll call you back, and uh, we'll be glad to talk with you. Um, our pastor works with a lot of people. He works with, you talked about a lot of cancer. Our pastor mm -hmm. works with the Cancer Coalition. And mm -hmm. uh, for Clay County, we do, he does a lot of work with that. And it seems like every week, Sister Margaret, there's five and six more cases that we know about. Mm -hmm. We don't know about all of them, but it is, it's running rapid in our, na in our land. And, and uh, so he sees a lot of people, and he gets to talk to a lot of people. And I guarantee you, once you talk with him and he tells you about the love of God, you'll, you'll want to talk more. And, and uh, we have a, he's got a grandson that's been sick, and we haven't, we're up here, so we're not calling requests, but we want to ask everyone to pray for Seth Farmer. That's Brother Tess, his grandson. He's had some sickness, and, you know, you hate to see a little fellow his age not up and playing and going around. So we'd ask everyone to pray for Seth that he can get better. And we just appreciate our whole church family. As I sit here and think, uh, names are running through my mind rapid. And as a lot of people that know me, they know that's pretty fast. So, but, but we just, we thank God for our church family. We thank God for every church family in our county and surrounding yes, counties. Yes. You know, it's important that we pray one for another. Yes. That we serve yes. each other. We're here for one purpose, and that's to serve God, to lift His name up, to get people to come in yes. and to serve Him. So we're thankful for all our church families in our county, but we're thankful for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you tonight. All right, thanks. Um, well, and you know, if every church was filled, there would still be lots of unreached lot, yes, people. Amen. And so that's... We, we have a mission field right, exactly. right here. As Everyone. long as there's unsaved people, that's a mission field. That's right. And we need to win as many as we can because uh, time is going so fast. And uh, it seems like you hear something bad every day that, about, our, about our nation. Yes. And it just, uh, if we didn't know the Lord, as one scripture says, we would faint. We would right. uh, really... Uh, uh, not be able to make it, but you know we know the Lord, and we know that He has promised to never leave us nor forsake us, and He'll always be with us. So, regardless of what happens, uh, we know that we're we are with Him, and it, because we've given our hearts to Him. Uh, Teresa, would you like to anoint these and pray? And uh, so you, uh, she is representing the their church tonight, and a lot of folk. So we're running short on time, so just go ahead. Father, we're grateful tonight for every opportunity that we get to lift up your name. Tonight, God, we hold many notes here with prayer requests, many people that's suffering for whatever reason, God, tonight. There's so much going on. We pray tonight, God, that you'll reach every home, every request that was given in here, that you touch those families, God. Every person that was spoken about in the songs that's lost family, for all the people that's unable to come to church, we thank you, God, for this program. We're thankful to you that someone will come every night. We're thankful for Margaret coming out every night, giving of her time and herself to serve you. God, we praise you tonight and we honor you. And tonight we leave these prayers right in the palm of your hand. Father, we know there's safety there and we know that there's victory there. And we give it all to you tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, thank you so much. We had, there was five, five uh, souls saved tonight. Amen. So that's... Uh, and we need to be praying for them now that they will yes. get established and be able to, uh, uh, you know, find a good church right. and get established and get Amen. into the uh, the Bible. If they've not been reading, start. I think start with Matthew and read the first four yeah. Gospels, and you get acquainted with uh, Jesus. You get to find out what he was like when he walked on this earth, yes. and then you find out that uh, that he is. Uh, the same. Exactly. He hasn't changed. And so what he did for those people because of the compassion, he will do for us. Right. And so 
that's why that it's so important to know what the scripture says. We build our faith on what uh, uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And so that's why we have to have to work on it. Well, it looks like our time is uh, uh, getting away and we do appreciate once again the Manchester Gospel Mission Singers for being here tonight. And uh, so you uh, give them that church number again. Uh, area code 606-598-0400. Call and we'll get back with you and pray with you. We'll do, we just want you to make heaven your home. <laughs> sums it up. And it's so good that we can assure you every night the Lord hadn't changed. He hadn't put you on a bad list and said, I don't want to fool with these people anymore because he, <laughs> he, he doesn't act like we do. Right. And so we, uh, we are uh, looking forward to hearing about many more souls being saved. Well, our time has come and gone. And so from all of us here, good night and God bless you. Yeah.